So we now have the trailer hitch sensor installed. We have the T-bracket installed. And you will find in your kit of uh, the trailer backup navigation aid a little package of goodies. The first thing you want to do before even what we just did is to pull out this white USB cord. You will have your steering wheel sensor, which is charged by USB, so you just take this plug, stick it right in the top, and then go and plug this in in a USB port. Also in the bag you'll find some very low temperature graded elastic cord. There's a plastic clip and you'll notice there's a little hook on the end and that hook is going to clip right in the sensor like that. And there's also a spring clip, a clevis pin, and a cotter pin. And what you want to do is you want to get this cord to be as level as you can. So we're going to, looks like about the second hole here is the one to go with. So I'm going to run the clevis pin through. You'll see there's two rings and the clevis pin is going to go through them, but with the T bracket in between. And it's a real tight fit, so don't think that it doesn't fit. It does fit. So we can do that. And then, there we go. There we go. So that's clipped in now. And now we've got that there. And this cord is going to attach the two so that this follows the vehicle. It has to be set to the right length so that there's always enough tension to turn the sensor, but not so much tension that when it's stretched to its longest, it will risk damaging the sensor or breaking the cord. So you pull the cord through here, tie a knot in it, right there. Then you bring it over here and there's a little hole in this bracket and you want to go through that. And I usually do this off the vehicle, but I do show it in the video this way because I don't want people to do it away from the vehicle and then tie the other knot. And then what we want to do is divide that in half. So we basically pull it through and right here, the midway point, that's where we want the second knot. You just want to snug that cord up close there. So now you'll see that this knot here is halfway between there and there. And then when we stretch it, it clicks in and it holds itself and you're good to go.